Okay, not sure how the microphone's going to work today. Um, I've drilled a hole in the case, let's see. Okay, so I've got to the car park and I'm just trying to determine where north is so I can check the orientation of the map. See this ivy here, so I'm following around the back and what I'm looking for is the stalk at the back. Okay, so zoom that in, mine all the branches. Okay, you see the stalk there? Usually that's a roundabout on the north side of the tree. Okay, so I'm going to head off down here and I'm going to have a look at him as well. Okay. Now, all these indicators can produce anomalies and they're a little bit tricky. Okay, so that one, well, there's something on this side, but I'm going to say that the true stalky side is back over here again. Okay, so I can see the other one up over there. He's facing, well, from the rear of my car, he's facing towards me at 90 degrees. This one is slightly over to the side. So if I take an average of the two, I'm already thinking that north is somewhere over this direction. Okay, so that's good. Can't see any more ivy. Uh, there's one over there, that's too far. Can't see any more ivy. But that's my two indicators already. Fortunately today, it is sunny. So there's the sun up over there. Quite a bright day. So that's pr probably this time of year going to be more to the south. So that sort of correlates with this. So I've got the ivy at the back of the tree here which I'm thinking is more towards the north, and the sun over there, which is towards the south. OK, there we are. Let's go and see what else I can find. The sun is out. There's the sun. That's going to dazzle the camera. That's probably towards the south. And then I've got this nice straight tree here. And then coming down from the tree, there's this cracking straight line, which is probably towards the north which actually correlates with my thoughts that north is somewhere over that way, okay? So, let's find what else we can see here. So, coming out into the open ground, the open ground is really good because trees that are in the open, as opposed to being amongst the plantations, are going to behave more naturally with regard to growth. There's another ivy here, look. So, the stalk comes up from the north side so there's another one tucked away in there I don't know if we can see that comes up the north side and then as the ivy develops it starts spinning its way round more towards the southern side okay there we are isn't that good clever stuff so next to the ivy there's this pine tree uh, which is, yeah, proper pine tree. So you can see the branches there are really reaching out almost towards the sun today. So that's another indicator of south. So that's really good. So that's looking promising now that, that south is, is going to be down over this way here. That's, that's where I'm veering to now, which I think when I orientate the map in a moment, to the features around me that's gonna that's gonna zoom in right away to that so number of open trees the one that's caught my eye uh, is this oak tree on the other side of the car park now the other day when I was out I observed a few things about the way the branches are growing on these broadleaf trees here in the forest and obviously in other forests so as I approach it you can see straight away although there are trees behind it the predominant growth of those branches is going to be towards the south so you've got these branches leaning out towards the sun what I noticed the other day is as I pan the camera up the branches go straight and then they V out so there's a V there, and as I come under here, 
you can see another V here. So my observation was that south lies up in a line between the two. So what's happening is the branch is coming up, coming out, and then splitting. So I'll come back in, come up the tree, comes out, splitting. So I think that if I stand at the back of this tree, with my back to the tree, looking over like that, there's the branches splitting. Okay, so I drop that down. So towards that bush directly in front of me, I think is towards the south. Okay, there we are. So I've made a stick arrow. As you can see, my talents for making stick arrows probably as equal as my talent for filming with a little handheld camera. Let's move it back slowly. So I've now orientated the map with north at this end and south at that end because I'm determining south and I think that is south and then we'll see how that fits with where we are. So actually I don't know how this is going to work and I might have to put a still image in later. we this white space here Let's bring that in a bit more. Is it going to zoom in alright or is it all going to blur? Let's see. Right, this white space here is this white space here. I know the road's down in front of me. There's a boundary line running across here, which is this boundary line here. So I would probably just tweak the map slightly like that. So where I thought south was is now slightly off of centre and actually the sun now, the sun is more in the south how about that? ok so there we are as you can see it's not perfect however it's rotated the map pretty well ok so I'm just checking some things with the compass on the map so I've aligned the compass to magnetic north and to the north grid lines on the map. And then there's my stick arrow for south. So that's pretty good. So the sun is out, so I may as well take advantage of it. I'm heading north for 700 metres. So I'm pretty much going to keep my shadow in front of me. And what I'm hoping to see is more of the branches, you know, lit coming in towards me, which is keeping that hypothesis going that I'm heading north. The way in which I'm going to measure the 700 metres that I need to go is by using a time. There's another ivy here, so you can see. That's almost the opposite side to the sun on the north side of the tree, so that's good, so that's one. I always like to find a number of ivies because they're not 100%. They are a good indication, but not an absolute indication. Cool, this is a corker here, an absolute corker of an ivy here. Wow, look at that. Look at it. That's a beast of a thing there. That, that pretty much is on the north side of the tree, I would say. In fact, if I've got my compass in my hand here still, because I haven't put it away, if I put the compass down, yeah, there we are. There we are. Compass north. North blends is that this ivy is on the south side. Again. I don't know if there's an old one around the back. It's what I sometimes do, just have a look around. Nope. So, what may have happened here is that the woodland was much denser at one time and the ivy itself was unable to determine where north was. So it's produced these sort of anomalies where a number of the ivies think they're on the north side. Okay, so 
However, what happens pretty reliably is that as the ivy develops, it does start spinning round toward the south side. What happens pretty reliably is that as the ivy develops, it does start spinning round toward the south side. So, or stays on the same side. So that's my new hypothesis with ivy. That if the stalk itself hasn't swapped around, if it stayed on one side of the tree, as the leaf growth, then actually that's probably self. And if it's swapped around, so it's made a 180 degree transformation, then that reliably is self. So actually it is quite a good indicator after all. So here we are, here's another south one, rather than a north one. And what you can see is it stayed on that side of the tree trunk. Let's come a bit closer. All the growth and the ivy itself is on this south side. And it started more on the south side. Although there is one here, look, that's spun around. Here we are, so that's good. So this is the north side of the tree. So this is what first catches my eye. And then this one has started to spin around. That's towards the west. And then as it comes around and grows up towards the south. There we are. So that's ivy. So I'm back in the ivy camp. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. One of the ways in which I keep track of distance is by using time. So stopwatch is coming up to ten and a half minutes or so. As I've been rambling, walking along, I've been stopping and pausing the stopwatch. So it becomes a reliable way of keeping track. I'm expecting to hit the cycle track, which I can see coming up now. Still got the sun behind me. I know I want to turn left and head west. Okay. So because the sun's here, I'm, I've basically now, you might be able to see it in the shadow, I've basically now put up my left hand and I'm thinking that's towards the west and that is pointing the way I want to go. Back into more open ground here. So I'm expecting the trees to behave a little bit more naturally with respect to where the branches are growing. And you can see this one coming up here. Looks like a little beach. There you are. This is following a nice pattern that you've got the growth. Let's get a little bit closer without falling in the ditch. So here we are, starting from the bottom up. Most of the tree growth is on this side, which is the south side. And then the branches are splitting off as you come along here. So again, that fits. And the sun's out still. Okay, so that all fits quite nicely with our hypothesis. You can never tell when you get to these clearings when they've been cut down and how naturally these trees have behaved up until the point that you find them so here we are so we'll carry on down here here we are we'll stand here and let this lovely horse and cart go past Good morning. hi all right yeah, thank you. all right really not really no just having a little look around and see what's what Okay, I'm coming up to my junction now. I know it's the cycle junction because there's, it's a cycle path. It's pretty obvious, really. And I'm very confident that I've got to be turning towards the north. Sun is still out. So low-hanging fruit for natural navigation, which is having the sun. There's the sun coming over there. And it's, and it's more or less pointing the way I want to go. That track there. Okay, so I've been looking around for some indicators of north, south, etc. Here's one of the ivies again. There's two here, which are 
on the north side of the tree trunk here. Well, we're not, uh, two here, which are on the north side. And then as I come around the south side, there's lots of others. However, they're following our earlier hypothesis. Oop, all sorts in here. Get into amongst here, where it's now on the south side. I'm also right in amongst this holly here. And although it's up against the other tree, you can see much more growth on this side. So as I come out of here, you should be able to see that, that increase of growth. Here we are. Loads more on this side. And then as I come around to these trees, like this one here, if you look at the branches, fantastic this time of year against the blue sky. And that sun just here is gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Now this time of year, 1st of February, 2nd of February, my birthday no less. Out in the woodland, not a bad day at all. Dry, cold and crisp, but that sun's just starting to have a little bit of warmth to it. And after a long winter, very welcome it is too. And as I come over the track, heading south now, and looking at the tree over here, he's not fooled by this rise. As I swing around here, Again, much more growth on the south side of this tree. Ooh, I'll go steady, jerk the camera too much. There we are. Fantastic. All working. So that ride there is going south. This cycle track is continuing towards the west. And I want to head north. Another thing that I like to do when I'm practicing these techniques is to, as well as understanding the north, south, east and west in relation to paths, features, is I try and get my eye in on where's the ground rising, where it's falling. If I come across a stream or a river or a slight rise of ground like I've got here, I might observe that as I've been walking the ground is rising slightly towards the north. The significance of that being that if later on I can't find any indicators it might be that's a consistent pattern that the ground in this part of the forest is indeed rising towards the north which means that any streams, watercourses, gullies, trickles of water may well be coming towards the south. So it's not just about finding indicators in the plants and trees, it's about looking around at the wider picture and trying to, to, to kind of visualise the landscape where it's rising to, where it's falling to, where is it steepest, where it's shallowest. So I'm looking around now, having a look around. Quite a lot of tree growth on the side of here. This boy's got a, does have some ivy on as well. So as I come around, there's a lot of branches around in here, a lot of dead bracken. However, I can just see, you might be able to see that in there. There's some ivy on the back here and it's spinning round. So sun's still out but it still fits with our hypothesis that I was walking towards the west. So I'm expecting to see that ivy over there towards the north. What else can I see down here? What I'm looking for is the back of these the back of these pine trees. Because often in places you get a, a sort of a yeah, there we are, like a, a slight colouring on the north side of the trees. So here, you see this sort of orangey colour. Might not pick it up so well with the, with the camera. So you've got this orangey sort of colour. Tends to be on the north side of the trees if you see quite a few of them. So in, a lot, there's a lot here as well. So here... I think you can probably just see that. If I go slowly, I'll just pause it there. There's like this slight yellowing of the trunk. And as I spin around, that yellowing starts to disappear. 
and the trunk is actually, whoop, not trip up, steady. As I spin around, that's starting to disappear and the tree trunk is more of a natural colour. And then as I come around here again, particularly as I look up, there's that yellowing. And actually as I look up and look across these other trees, it's there as well. So one of my observations is that this particularly yellowing, this, this, this lichen, fungi, whatever it is, tends to be on the north side of the tree. Okay? And as I look around now, through this woodland, there's a few patches of that. Again, that fits with my hypothesis that if that's south, as I spin around, that's towards the north. So there's my junction over there. If I didn't want to continue towards the west, I could now take that ride knowing it's going north, northeast. But I'm going to continue on this ride here. Okay, let's go. Heading west now. Sun's back out. It's really helping today. It's almost too easy. So I'm heading west now. And I know I'm heading west because that sun is just right in my left eye so you can't can't really get a better indication than that uh, we're hitting some one of these new forest very boggy bits so i'm going to go over here and see if i can uh, get up onto this sort of boundary edge, not one that's shown on the map. That's the trouble with them. Uh, this isn't too bad, aren't they? Yeah, squishy, squish, squish, squish. Got the big old winter boots on today. Oh, look at this. This isn't good. Bit of a bog here. Let's see what I can do. Oh, spongy, 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 spongy. There we are. There we are. Ah, oh, lovely. There we are. Look at that, gorgeous. Look at that. Hey? Beautiful. Soon this is all just going to explode into life. So, looking at this watercourse here, this watercourse is on a north south orientation, so it's flowing south. So that's just something to, to keep an eye on. So if I come across this same watercourse again, that will give me a, a good indication, or I could even follow it. And if it keeps going that way, that would be good. I'm just looking at these ferns that are on this side of the water here. They're all on that side. They're all on that sunny side. This side, well that could be the side that gets washed of course, there's not much at all. So it looks like the, the ferns are all on this northern side. Up here. And that's another observation that you can make is you find a water course like this will be affected because of the trees that are over the top of it but you're kind of looking at each side where's where's all the growth where's all the little plants where's stuff growing definitely more proper ferns rather than bracken on that side so more towards the south west even but then that's the sunny side so you then start thinking, because there's open ground here, is that why they're over that side? So you just have to keep looking and observing. And when you find it once, you look for it again. And when you find it again, you look for it again. <coughs> Absolutely.
absolutely perfect. Look at that. Back to a tree. And then there's the sun just on the side there. Oh, it's glorious. So I'm sat here. I'm going to have my lunch here. Isn't this just lovely? What a lunch spot. And if I turn this around. There we are. That's what I'm looking at for lunch. Marvellous.